Okay, the first thing I wanted to go over was this little part here in the center. Now, it's in the very center of the scroll, and I'm going to turn this scroll over, and maybe you can see that hole. That hole was covered up with this part I just took off. And that's the discharge. These things discharge out the center. Let's see how this thing's put together. Okay, I've got it apart here. This just simply fits like this. That little washer goes in there, like that. And this little, this is just a solid steel, uh, you know, like a little short piece of shaft or something. Okay, what it does when pressure comes up here because the uh, gases are coming through the center of that scroll, they actually push that valve open. So it moves down that way and allows the gases to go out the side. So it's a, it's a valve uh, in the sense that when the unit's off by gravity, this thing drops down. It sticks in there now because I've got all the oil off of it. Okay, when the machine's off, this valve just sits down there like that. And that keeps the high pressure from backing up through the scrolls. And the scrolls will actually run backwards if there's high pressure uh, from the high side that gets back into the scrolls. So when it starts up, it moves out like that and allows gas to go around it. And then when it shuts off, it just closes again. Silly little thing. Uh, no spring on it, so the spring can't wear out. I suppose it could stick, uh, you know, inside here. I suppose it could. Okay, we've got a couple more parts here. Uh, we've got two of these, and these are just little reed valves. And I'll lay them out for you so you can see what they look like. Okay, this is a reed valve. And this is just a little keeper that keeps it down. Uh, okay, you can see it sits right down there over that uh, this hole. Okay, let's look on the other side. Okay, I can't really say I know for sure what those are about, but it looks like it's some sort of pressure relief. So if the pressure gets higher than the discharge pressure in the scrolls, possibly due to some uh, liquid in the scrolls, then uh, it'll bleed it out through those reed valves into the high side. Uh, that's about all I can figure out that it's for. So... Uh, that's a look at uh, the discharge valve and the little reed valves on the uh, scroll compressor. That's just on this Korean uh, compressor. I, I've never seen those on uh, any other brand. Okay, this little doohickey here, uh, <laughs> beats the heck out of me what it's for. Uh, we've got two holes in the side, one hole in the center. This also has a hole right there where it fits right over there because that's how this fits on. It fits right on there and covers up that hole. But that seems to have it seems to have clearance all the way through, and it comes from. Okay, you can see it right there. That's going in probably, I don't know, two-thirds of the way in the scroll. Not exactly sure what it does. Okay, we've got one more part on this, and that's this here. And you can see it goes from high side to low side, so it's a high-pressure bleed-off. So if there's high pressure, uh, like the head pressure gets beyond a certain point, it bleeds back into the low side. At least I know what that is. Okay, here we have 
this scroll and I wanted, wanted to point something out. I haven't seen this on scrolls before but you see that insert uh, right in here it's a a carbon or a metallic or something insert. I'll show you some pieces of it because I got uh, this is on both of the scrolls and the other one it fell out. Uh, that's probably what seals the scrolls. So uh, I'll take a closer look at some of that stuff. Okay this is a material here you can see it kind of looks like a carbony sort of stuff or something like that. That's what's inset into those scrolls. Okay, to give you an idea, here's the scroll that it came out of, and you can see the slot right there where it fit in. That's, you know, these seals are the biggest thing on these things. Uh, that's what took so long to get these things to work, was getting these seals to work. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this type of seal. Most of them just, uh, some machining on the, on the scrolls, the old aluminum ones on the trains were, uh, were just uh, aluminum and it looks like they had some kind of special machining on them but that was it. This actually has an insert in it to seal those scrolls. Okay so that's a look at the parts inside the scroll. If anybody knows what those parts were I couldn't figure out, let me know.